A lot of people here in San Antonio remember going to Selena's concerts or maybe buying her albums. But one woman here actually grew up with the then rising star and witnessed up close both of Selena's passions. News 4 San Antonio's April Young has her story. It's who I am, it's where I'm from, so it always have a little piece of my heart. Yeah. Growing up in the South Texas Tejano music scene in the 80s and 90s involved the inevitable run-ins with the queen of Tejano herself, Selena. My dad actually would book the Dinos, Selena's dad's band, um, at different concerts in small towns around San Antonio. Jonine Serna's dad was a Tejano concert producer, and she had a front row seat to Selena's dramatic rise to stardom. It's a tight-knit community, the Tejano music industry. And though music and performances dominated the late singer's life, Jonine has fond memories of Selena's other passion, her jewelry. Selena ended up kind of designing and creating all of the jewelry for my sister's bridesmaids. Selena even loaned her a signature piece for Janine's high school prom. I was like, oh my God, this is it. This is like something like this would be great. And she's like, you know what? She's like, just take it. Just, you know, just borrow it. Um, use it for your prom. She's like, it's too heavy for me to wear on stage. And a warning to return the jewelry with Selena's famous sparkling wit. She's like, I know where you live. I know where to find you if you don't give it back to me. <laughs> As the two saw each other at concerts and awards shows, Jonine watched a superstar in the making. And I remember the last one that I went to, I was talking to her brother, and I was like, where's Selena? And she goes, we'll see all those reports. Those, that big crowd right there, they were just, they would hover around her. That would be the last time Jonine saw Selena alive. She was in college on March 31st, 1995, when she heard Selena had been killed by her fan club president, Yolanda Saldivar. She remembers the chaos and confusion surrounding Selena's death. It was just very surreal because um, there was lots of rumors going on on what had what it actually had happened, and they involved people that I knew as well. A life cut short, leaving Jonine with the same questions we all have. But you know, you just can't help but think, you know, what would have happened if this tragedy wouldn't have occurred? Um, where would she be, and what would she be doing? April Young, News Four, San Antonio. It is amazing. I shot some of those of pictures of her yes and uh, to think that she would be 44 wow uh, today this would have been her birthday and yeah. uh, anyway you just wonder what if but amazing All right.